we used to yawn or feel tired in the evening before. How do you feel for the last three days? Do you feel tired at night? Yes. Anybody feeling tired at night? Don't you carry on another four hours? <laughs> you only teach your children about health if you know about health. So I have a book here, says, am I all that? Am I all of that? It teaches the child the opposites. Hate against love and all that. Bring them into the center. with these examples. Fear, faith, worry, hope, selfishness, generosity, vanity, aspiration, anger, patience, criticism, sympathy, envy, non-interference, greed, kindness, hypocrisy, courage, prejudice, provision, so, written by Dr. Kamal Phillips. <coughs> Did you see this book on the table there? When I saw this book first time, in 1985, in Vancouver, Dreams of the Dawn. My mind went into the book on the cover page to the sun showing there. And without reading it, I just grabbed it and embraced it. Because I had never seen a book which gives a toll free number on it. Have you ever seen any book which gives a toll free number to call? Have you ever met any book with toll free number? I have never seen it. You still have never seen any book with a toll free number on it. And this book is on laws of life body, mind, and soul. Dr. Thurman Free was told he was going to die within three months. And that was uh, 25 years ago. And he lived 15 to 20 years after. Then he wrote. What he did, he collected all Indian mythology, locked himself in the room for 200 years until he stopped reading them. Then he wrote this book, the only book he wrote. He says part one, laws of body, law of nourishment, law of movement, Law of recuperation, law of sanitation. All for physical pain, what we need. So we are working with these four things. Then he goes into law of the mind. We, what we are doing, we lead to the next automatically. We do the first four here, 
and it automatically leads to the next one, laws of mind. Now you tell me, at home, when you read Gita, Gutka, uh, you start reading, all of a sudden you are running into the uh, laundry room, you are running into the garage, this and that, you mind, not body. <coughs> and you are trying to read. But, did your mind go away the last three days while you were here? Anybody experienced it? Your mind running outside this room? Oh, did you feel the difference between your own reading that what you were doing and running around at the same time as compared to here? That's the beauty of the mind. Coming closer to yourself at that zero cross section where complete peace is there. No noise affects you at all when you have that sense. So it goes into law of the mind, fear, worry, anger, each chapter I'm talking about. These are the titles of those chapters. Yes. There are 20, 28, 28 chapters. goes into each, what the effect is on our body, what is the effect is and taking you to the higher level of understanding about this body, beauty, love, courage. Explaining love and hatred. So this is the only book we have price on because we bring it from this, this by the way, um, they give the classes uh, in London. We used to come from Timmins every weekend to take their seven phases of life. And believe it, we spent $13,000 each of us. And what we achieved, it was a, like a experiencing a living God. Experiencing what our existence means to us. So there is no end of learning. Don't close your doors. No matter you have PhD. If you have PhD, you go to Gurdwara, you take the PhD to the Gurdwara or Mandar, you have closed the doors for them. You have to become an ass before you enter those doors. Leave all the PhDs at home. And what an ass come out as? Loaded fully. True? Yeah. If you keep on teaching all the rest of the world and never learn yourself, keeping the doors closed, I know everything when I have PhD. If you know everything, what would you learn? We know nothing. We only know this much of the total knowledge of the all knowledge, powerful. So keep the doors open all the time. So there's no end to this. When your curve is vertical, you don't have to open your lifts eight hours at the office. You will just walk like dumb and you will learn like from other people, japping this and that. When they make mistakes, I'll give you a story. Very short. I was 15 years old. One of my cousin brothers saw six girls. In those days, 1948, I'm talking about. Those days, 
nobody used to see girls before marriage. Our parents used to decide. But this guy, <coughs> he wanted to see the girl before he gets married because he was the only one who was, you know, big shot, educated. So they let him. The day he got married and she came into the house, there was a fight going on within minutes of the arrival. I love you, I love you, I love you. No. Fighting with each other. Sister of respect down the train, seeing other girls. And what he found. What she had, she had two false teeth on the two sides. When she will laugh, those two false teeth show. You know, how would you look? two falls thing on the two sides because your lips move from that area. And believe it, I was only very young. I heard a voice, you're not going to see your wife in your life before that. Anyway, I saw it came and and it actually happened when I came to England. I did not see the wife. I saw a five-year-old girl, her sister. I made the decision. When it's God's voice, I only realized when I got married that that was God's voice. But I don't want to see my wife before that. So learning from the other people, is the best way of learning. You're learning through this writing. Thank you very much. And never forget the eye drops. Make them at home if you want to. But there if you want to. And don't miss it yesterday. Days because there's more to give you. I'm